14 bullets shot at a Southside home, and the homeowner thinks he was targeted. He believes it's either racially or religiously motivated. RTV6's Stephanie Wade is looking into whether this could be a hate crime based on a new state law. You can see where one of the bullets went flying into this home here, breaking this window. A man was awake early in the morning at the time when he suddenly heard gunfire. And just as I stood up, boom, 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 these shots, and I heard an explosion. It was just after 4 a.m. Thursday morning when bullets went shooting at this Southside home. One, two, three, four, five, six. One bullet went through the window and into the wall. The others ricocheted off the brick exterior. The explosion the homeowner heard was the insulating gas in between the window panes. He says once he realized what had happened, he immediately hit the floor and crawled to the front window. Did you see a car? Did no. you see anyone? No, did not. Nothing. Sadly, this isn't the first time this couple has been terrorized. Last fall, their yard sign that says, we stand with American Muslims, was damaged. Beer bottles, trash had been thrown at it. And on several occasions. As I cut my grass, people yell the N-word and they throw objects uh, from their car uh, at me. So to you, your fear is this just keeps progressing? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely. Someone is out to hurt or injure or kill myself or a family member. There's very little doubt in my mind on that. Passed just this year, Indiana's hate crime law includes aggravated sentencing for bias-motivated crimes, meaning judges can impose harsher sentences for crimes proven to be motivated by a bias. The law covers color, creed, disability, national origin, race, religion, and sexual orientation under Indiana's reporting statute, but was, however, heavily criticized by Democrats for not covering age, sex, or gender identity. To have the conversation to say, well, there's language already existing, that language is not strong enough. I could always come home and leave the world outside. Uh, but now the, the evils of the world appear to be uh, intruding. Working for you, Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Well, in this case, it appears it could be considered a hate crime since race or religion seem to be the issue. But somebody would first have to be convicted of the crime since Indiana's law only covers sentencing. If you have any information about this case, call Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS.